Hi everyone, welcome back to the Altium Develop series. So today we will learn uh, that how can we run the remote design sprint week entirely in Altium Develop. So let's say uh, your whole team is working with you remotely. So how can you manage it uh, using an Altium Develop? So let's first talk about a uh, traditional uh, workflow, how the designers or a project manager manages this type of project remotely. So hardware sprint usually fa fails remotely because of uh, they have the meetings in the Zoom because to discuss any review point, uh, they have to either send on the chat or send a message on some other channel or they arrange the Zoom meeting. So it takes too much time uh, and the deadline obviously will be uh, will gets increased if we have uh, more meetings than the work so uh, designs in CAD uh, status in spreadsheet that's why uh, the traditional hardware sprint usually fails when working remotely so the problem is not remote working it's uh, it's basically the featured context so we will uh, take a simple scenario let's say we are going to design a simple dc dc power supply or oh, let me open this project let's say uh, we have a game pd b project it's a sample project provided by the rtm 365 so we can see uh, what what features are added over here so let's say uh, this schematic is empty uh, just for an example uh, although it's complete, but I'm just taking an example. Uh, assume the schematics is uh, not complete. So we want to design the game PDB. So uh, the first day, uh, we will take a simple scenario of five day. Uh, how can we manage and uh, starting from scratch? Uh, how can we manage it uh, in five days? What would what should we do on the first day day two day three day four and in the final day we get the outcome so the first day should be the scope and the constraint uh, finalization so uh, it's basically the systematic view uh, on the first day the designer or the project manager should uh, finalize the requirements uh, as we have already discussed in our previous videos that how can the project the system manager the system engineer uh, define the requirements through the requirement portals define the interfaces to the boards and constraints like uh, what should be the voltage and what should be the size and what should be the cost so the designer or the project manager will finalize these few points on the first day and and in the end of the day the day one is not basically about the schematics design it's about the agreement about the clarification and requirements so the designer uh, should not feel any uh, revision or improvement again and again uh, because uh, when it comes to the verification and validation stage so when it comes to the uh, second day the second day should be the schematics design so in this day we will design the schematics and starts our procedure first start with the block diagram uh, and then the uh, define the architectural view and then uh, the designing the schematics design so this will be the second day and in parallel the third day uh, maybe the schematics is uh, large enough so uh, it can take let we are assuming so it, it is taking two days so what should be uh, uh, what should the other team the reviewing team uh, should do on the third day so ultimate developer provides you the um, visibility across all the channels so on the third day the schematics although is not complete but the review can be started the review team can start because all the changes are live on the uh, ultimate develop so comments uh, the review team let's say find some improvement that can be made in the circuit in the schematics and maybe some issue maybe some shortage or maybe the resistor value is not correct the voltage uh, if we talk about the battery charging ic bms system maybe the charging current is low so the reviewer can add the comment to the specific component or maybe on the 
whole sheet so the designer uh, can see and can uh, change at the same time so in this way the third day uh, the designer and the reviewer both can work uh, together uh, on their own so review happens asynchronously but in context no screenshot no emailing threads so the fourth day would be the decision lag in and risk uh, resolution so the designer will accept the comments update the requirements and start designing the bomb visibility so so here you can see the bomb over here and let's say you uh, the designer uh, go the review point that or the task that this part should be changed because it's end of life or maybe it has some uh, nrnd not recommended for new design so he will see all the comments over here he can open this uh, snapshot attached to the comment and uh, start resolving this issue when it is resolved he, it can uh, be checked to resolve comment and if there is anything on the other comments so he will go to the task and the comments bar on the fourth day if we are talking about the fourth day he will see what the reviewer added on the comment if the task is resolved he will check this box to resolved and from there the task is removed now in the same way he will see all the review points review points that the reviewer sent to the uh, added in the schematic sheet uh, so that can be improved in the same time to save the time so remotely you can see uh, working remotely with this uh, structure we we just need to have a proper structure to work remotely so ultimate develop helps us and by providing its uh, features to uh, so uh, persons or uh, engineers can work remotely so on the first, fifth day last day we will have a sprint close-up and transparency final decision design snapshots open and close items the uh, bomb will be prepared and uh, in the final step we will have uh, finalized schematics and uh, we are sure about the bomb is complete so that's all so we have seen that how can we manage the workflow even remotely through Altium Develop. So it was just an example. I have just taken an example and explained the scenario with you. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and follow us for the upcoming videos.